So, is again, we would make another copy. And, uh, let me think, let me think. It would be to the right, to the left. Try running that. Shit. Because I recountered it, I have to recounter those. Again, this is where math comes into play. If you're countering your math, you have to make sure you counter it everywhere in your logic. Um, but you see, there, there's another one. Again, there's so many different ways you could do this. Uh, again, you just have, you got to remember your math and how how you're countering everything to work together. So uh, it's just you got to remember all that. Um, I can make this even faster so that it almost looks like they never turn their head. But then uh, you'll you'll see what happens. See, it, it's like instant, but it, it still it doesn't look as fluid. So that's why the point five is it's kind of nice. nest two of them so you're saying so if I was to n put one into another so you want me to do it like that is that what you're trying to say heck I can go almost like this couldn't I let me see how that would run Oh, look at that. That kind of ran a little bit smoother. I just don't like how they twist their neck all the way back to look back. So see, this is where you have to look at your math and make sure you're uh, setting it up correctly. So, like, I think this one... Actually, you know what? I could actually just take that out. If I just take that out... Holy no, no, that, that ruined it. Redo it. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, you're right about the uh, seconds. Hmm. Let's see, let me play it one more time. Let me see where my error went. So, oh, see that? Okay, I had it at one second. So, see, that's that's where. Okay, again, there's another logical error. So, you see, my times were off. I thought something was weird. I was like, these two are not as long as everything else. So see, that, again, remember how I told you always make sure all your times are correct when you do it to uh, do together. You want to have them at the same time, otherwise it looks awkward. So see, perfect. We got it all into one. See, I mean, you can play around with this. Say, oh, here, let me turn that in. So you see, now they now they turn and then walk. So you see, you can just play around with all this and just throw things in together and go, hey, let me see how that's gonna work. It's it's really it's all about your imagination and how you want to have it. Do you want them to just turn and then go, or do you want them to be more fluid, and just turn and then walk? You know, see that looks nicer, because it, it's not like them just turning and then staring. It, it's actually making a move at the same time. So see, nice and fluid.
And that's, that's everything about programming. It's just trial and error and having some fun. And what's up, Zarandon? Okay. I hate to say it. It's almost, uh, it's almost four. It's almost the end. And uh, it is the last page of the chapter. And here's what's the last page of the chapter. In, in my class, how we export our uh, information uh, to our teacher, you have multiple options. Uh, you know, always save your work. Make sure you're always saving your work. But you have a couple options. You have save it as a web page, save it as a video, or save it as uh, coding for printing. Uh, well, not saving, but this is exporting. You're taking what you've made and exporting it uh, into your desired uh, format. For us, we like to export it as an HTML code, uh, but it, it ain't a true HTML coding uh, per se. So um, let me title this, and I'm going to show you uh, how it comes up, how our teacher reviews it. So now it uh, it's going to put a uh, document on my uh, desktop, which is just an HTML file. And as I showed you earlier, it just shows the coding of how I did my uh, work. He basically can import this into his and make sure it ran and how it looks. And then he checks here that we coded everything uh, nicely. Uh, that, this is, like I said, you're exporting it as an H. If you look at the up here, it's an HTML uh, file. So this is uh, just how he reviews everything. You could, uh, again, you could save it as a video if you wanted to. Uh, let's just make it my desktop. But I think the last time I did this, I think I was missing something and it didn't work. So, well, you have to have, have uh, Alice to run it, but see there. That's actually coming off my uh, desktop. But again, you need Alice to run this. Yeah, go ahead. And then the last is you save it as an actual web page. Uh, and you, you pick how you want it to save. And it, it's going to give you all the files you need to put to your web page so that uh, people can actually see it. Again, you're going to need, again, A2W, which is Alice. You're going to need Alice to run it um, unless you save it differently. Okay, the difference between a custom method and a primitive method, uh, a primitive method is uh, any object can have a primitive method. It's just a simple command uh, that you're giving it. Whereas a uh, custom method, is, it's more complex and it's, it's pertaining to certain objects. Not all objects will have a custom method. Like these penguins have a custom method of jumping, gliding, flapping wings, whereas a... Um, uh, a regular penguin, if it if it doesn't have that custom, like here, two examples. Alice. Alice has a regular. Without custom, you she'll still have um, the primitive methods, but she doesn't have no custom. Whereas her counterpart has a custom method that ha allows her to walk, where it actually takes her moving parts and uh, it performs the action um, through its custom method. It's basically a method written um, for the object. So here, let me take Alice, who has a custom method. Oops, oops. Now if I go back into that world, click the Alice, and I click one of her custom methods, drag it in here. If I click this now, it's going to bring up her do together. So if you notice, it's, it's basically a primitive method brought together but customized for her. So see, it's taking all of her parts and moving them customized um, manually within that custom method. So basically it took all the work I would normally do with a primitive method and did it for me. So now see, now she'll walk. Well, I didn't tell her where to walk, but... But there, basically, that, that's the difference between custom and uh, primitive. A custom is primitive methods, just it's set to those objects, pertaining to that object. 
Um, and then your other question, what are methods and what are properties? Methods are commands, uh, um, tasks you're telling the object to do, whereas property, you're just changing the object um, physically. Like, uh, I could change her to be all red. I could change her to be transparent. I could make her a wireframe. Um, it's just changing the object. It, it isn't telling it what to do. You're just changing its... Um, its properties, <laughs> basically. Whereas method, you're telling it to do something. You're giving it an action. Uh, you're giving it life. You're, you're telling it what to do. J-Man, you need better internet, man. Better internet. And hey, Yunaru. I, sorry I didn't see you. Oh, busting out the variables. Yes, I forgot about variables. And variables are information uh, set, you know. Like if I make, if I was to make my keypad number one to make Alice move forward, that's a variable. I, I set my keypad to have information for the object to hold. And uh, if I pressed at variable number one, Alice would move. Whoops, I was trying to delete the world, wasn't I? And there you have it, guys. That was today's tutorial. I will... I might do Saturday. Uh, I might. I might do Chapter 3, Part 1, Saturday. Uh, I'm thinking about it. I might throw in Saturdays. I'm thinking Tuesdays and Thursdays are just a little too... too short. So I might do Tuesday, Thursday, Saturdays. I don't know, would anybody be interested on Saturdays to learn? I mean, I'll do it. Uh, I just want to have more people, though. It would probably be a little, probably same time. An Alice Punch-Out, no, 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 no. It's not really set to make games or anything, it's just set to teach you programming. A method is an action. It, it's just an action for the object. Whereas, uh, I mean, it, if you bring in uh, a custom, a custom method, then that's a group of instructions that you're giving it. It's it's moving certain objects. The uh, just a method by itself, which is a primitive method, you are uh, just doing one simple little thing. But that's it, guys. If you ever want to follow along, they sell the book online. This is just my college book. Um, but that's it. I'm just trying to help everybody out. I am going to go eat. I am starving. Uh, again, if you guys want me to do Saturdays uh, for teaching, I will. I just uh, I need to know. Uh, I just don't want to sit here on a Saturday and nobody be on. But uh, that's it, guys. I will see you later. Uh, I'll be back in a little bit. Probably going to be playing some Planet Side 2, though. Thinking about it. So, take it easy, y'all.